Good morning, everybody. Pastor Stitch, Narrow Path Christian Church, BC, Bay City, Michigan. Welcome to the Biker Devotional. <clears throat> this morning in my reading, I was reading in Proverbs 29, and I read verse 21. A slave pampered from his youth will become arrogant later on. And I was thinking about that, and as I came here to Facebook, like I always do, I look at my memories. And over the last several months, I've been noticing that 10, 11, 12 years ago, as I was starting up my business and, and really getting things running, which, by the way, I sold that business already, but um, I enjoyed that work, uh, but it consumed everything about me. And I noticed that the majority of the posts that I posted back then had to do when things went wrong around me and how far behind I seemed to get. And I was always worried. The power was out for half the day. Now I got to play catch up. Um, the, the breaker box had to be replaced. I lost a whole day of production. The, Yard, the drive had to be shoveled if the snowblower wasn't working, and I lost a quarter of a day worth of production. You know, I was sick, or whatever the case might have been, I was always worried about the fact that I had lost, and I didn't have, and I was lacking. And I got to thinking about that. I was so used to having everything go right, that when things went wrong, I thought I deserved it going right. A slave pampered from his youth will become arrogant later on. I was thinking about the power outage thing that I saw on my timeline from 11 years ago and how I had lost a half a day's production and I was panicking that I was going to have to play catch up. Which, by the way, I never caught up. Once I lost it, it was gone. I never, I never had enough hours in the day to get caught up. I was running myself ragged, trying. And today, if the power were to go out, which it has, I'd grab a flashlight, I'd grab a battery-powered lantern, I'd grab a candle, i sit down with my Bible or a book or something, and i draw closer to God. Going through those difficulties taught me to cherish the downtime not stress about it. Sometimes we get upset about the negatives in our lives, but in reality, as we're going through them, we can realize that we're not really being allowed to be pampered anymore. We're learning how to deal with adversity and move forward. If you watched my sermon, or you were there for my sermon on Sunday, I told a story about the struggles between a Christian and a person of the world and how they would handle things. And I gave one struggle, one struggle that is going to be the same whether you're a Christian or not a Christian. And it's a perfect example of what it looks like when you're struggling in the world. Because I don't care if you're a Christian or not, you're going to face the same adversity. The only difference is how you approach it and how it turns from an adversity into a blessing. So that would be something that I need to think more on today. And I'm sure you do as well. I love you all. I hope you have a great day. God bless.